Hey guys, welcome back. This is another episode of the best Android apps of the month. In this video, we are going to check out some of the new apps that are launched, some of the apps that you guys requested on my previous application videos, and some of the apps that I have personally tested. I have been using them for more than a week. And as usual, I used to test those apps first on many devices, starting from low end to high end phones. So let's get started and see what are those apps. The first app we see is called the EQ battery. It's one of the most popular app. It's uh, quite new here, but based on the download and rating, you can see that. So it's almost more than two weeks I have used that app, and it does shows most of the things correctly. Especially it shows you how much time did your phone went in the sleep, how much time was completely my phone was locked, and so it actually works based on your how much sessions you have charged. So it takes seven days data. And number of sessions too, and it does shows you average. So average is slightly more than what you found, but uh, most of the times it does shows correctly. If you just go to the history tab, you can actually come to know like uh, how much time uh, when did you plug your charger from so many sessions and. Uh, when did you start it? How much battery was consumed? And you can actually get to know how much time your phone does takes to charge. And along with that, it does show you some of the important informations like. Uh, how much average percentage it's getting decreased uh, which of the apps are using much of the things here so on one place uh, you can see everything it's a free app but it shows lot of information next app is called photo picture resizer so this is quite old app a million download but it's very good so as soon as uh, you know your smartphone's camera's quality is getting increased so your photo size eventually get increased so taking example with when i take picture from this pixel uh, all the photo average are 4 mbs and if i take from this uh, one plus three it's somewhere near to three to three point five mb so when you try to just share your photos using this uh, social messenger like whatsapp and you have to just change profile pictures not necessarily needed to have a large photo so just take an example i just took this picture so you can see and if you just open that image and there are a lot of options you can actually crop it and you have you can adjust it based on the side so generally for sharing 800 by 600 is quite enough so you can see uh, photo size is 3.6 mb and it saves actually uh, makes to 116 kb and as you can take a look on the picture these are my two pictures so left size is the original and right size is the compressed so you won't notice much quality degree next app is microsoft solitaire collection so this is as claimed by the company's words first solitaire or you can say number one solitaire game in now on the android so if you guys are using windows xp and computer you might have played that game it's a very new game and actually it's fun to use it's simple i did play that a lot so uh, simple as said here guys if you guys uh, like to play a lot of uh, a solitaire on your phone so definitely you can go ahead and start and play that app along with that you get some other games here like spider free cell pyramid so most of the games that you played on computer so it came to there so it's from the microsoft you can actually sign into your outlook and uh, live account you can sync to various of the android devices so similar to like xbox one experience that you get on the windows phones so next application is called uh, macro try device automation so even though i have tasker uh, but i did found that tasker is a bit complicated compared to the what other apps can give and this is actually paid version so a lot of users have requested can you show an alternative apps which can work similar to like tasker so this is another app that you should try that out it has simple interface and the free version can give you all features just only five macros you can create so I'll give you guys an example i have just uh, created a trigger in which uh, when i turn off my lte that means i came inside my off home so my wi-fi should automatically get turned on so here my wi-fi is turned off if i just turn on my lte so my 4g is turned on now if i turn off my lte so it should turn on wi-fi automatically so as you can see i got wi-fi immediately connected so just for small things macro ride is a perfect automation software next application mb tuner is for the devices which doesn't support ambient display for example this is the phone if i just turn it here if i just hover it that so it shows me uh, ambient display notification on the phone so if your phone is of the low budget and it doesn't have this kinds of feature or for example if you're having the pixel and excel phones so which doesn't have ambient display so you can use this feature you can see if i just hover my hand it shows me the ambient display notification so uh, this is a very cheap app but it's a good alternative i've been using them from many days from more than a month it's very reliable and works most of the times next application is called volume scheduler so nowadays many phones are coming with a slider which can change your profile from ringer to priority to silent so this is very convenient way you can simply do it without unlocking a phone or manually going and changing the setting but if you don't have these things no need to worry about you can use volume scheduler it can schedule your activity for example i've just taken my here 
when I go to sleep uh, somewhere near to 12 after that so I just mute all the things here except some of the important voice calls so I can adjust all things here so when I woke up again in the morning 5 am it turns on my volume automatically so it's again a good alternative to the priority scheduler button if your phone doesn't have this thing next application is called fingerprint scanner tool so this is a, a simple application using that you can add some of the gesture based action to your fingerprint scanner for example if your fingerprint scanner just support unlocking that's it so you can add this feature to lock your device too as you can see i just unlocked and lock so uh, along with that you can add other custom actions like swiping it down to see the notification panel so very good app and simple a small app doesn't take much battery next app wallpapers craft is one of the new application that get perfect wallpaper for your phone so if you guys are following my channel you might have seen that i tend to change my wallpaper each day and i post all the things to my facebook page so this is the app the best feature is that using see it actually customize your wallpaper according to phone display so you can see guys once you get inside the app you will see some of the sections like popular there are a lot of tags too so i'm just taking an example this is the wallpaper and if you like that wallpaper so the options if you just try to download and uh, it shows the original 4k display and more than that and you can actually download it according to your phone display size and once you download that too it also gives you option so if i just taking an example this is a wallpaper i just downloaded using that app photo scan by google is the next app it's uh, launched a few days back but it's raised a lot of million downloads and just uh, with a 4.2 rating so it's simple app and the concept is that you can actually scan the old images and can make your things to look like uh, it's been taken so you can see if you have any portrait image you can take that here so already there is a detailed video i have made so make sure to check that out video to understand what this app actually does so you need to uh, manage yourself across the four fingers so once you get that you can see i just scanned this here so actually this is a large jpeg file and when you have some portrait on your wall so you can actually create good wallpaper next app called wave lock and unlock so this is simple app if your device doesn't have fingerprint sensor or no double tap to lock so no need to worry about that one you can simply uh, hover your hand and can lock your phone so it does give you a couple of options like you just want to lock or unlock if you want to use unlock feature too so you need to remove all the pin and password otherwise uh, you need to enter the password each time so give an example here if i just here and if i just hover my hand it locks my device completely so it's very good app so that's it guys pretty much for this episode and I do post video regularly and weekly for the best Android apps and collection and games for you. So I hope you guys find this video helpful. This is Saurabh. I'll catch you next video. Have a great day.